Chuck, I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera. And it's Friday. It's Friday. So when you get home, uh, make sure you work on your project and, and do what you want to do to make yourself happy. And that's what, how you make yourself happy is to do what you want to do. And that's what I'm doing right here, right now, as I'm working on this. I'm doing what, what I want to do to make myself happy. And um, <laughs> Jolene, Jolene has been just leafing through some of the comments. And um, she says there's a lot of people that still don't get it. And I just want to, I just want to go through it slowly. We have a YouTube station that we build and fabricate cars. Um, the finishing part is generally not a part of our YouTube station because when we start to finish them, the YouTube station starts to go down and then it's basically um, not a successful YouTube station anymore. Um, so what we do is we keep building cars to keep the YouTube station fresh and alive and if you do not get it I'm sorry that <laughs> some people don't understand but um, the things that we have and the things that we do are coming from our YouTube station and our Facebook content and it's a business we are running a business we are building cars for content for the people that would like to watch those who want them finished are gonna have to wait <laughs> you know basically they're gonna have to wait um, we have the Thunderbird in there um, the engines in it the body's pretty well done we have modified it we've made it uh, a two-seater looking thing we've changed the roof on it we put uh, the porthole window in it we've done all that stuff for content for us for our YouTube station some YouTube stations do how-to some YouTube stations fix a, a little hole and, and fix something. Our YouTube station is daily live content building cars. If you want to see finished cars, I'd have to take you in the building that the YouTube station has paid for, <laughs> basically. And those who say, well, we're paying for Chad's stuff, you don't pay for shit. We work every day for the YouTube people that want to watch. You watch YouTube for free. You don't pay us nothing. We work for what we get. So um, that's the end of it. And I want to thank all the good people, too, that watch and, and watch every day. We met a couple today. We're in town this morning that watch every day and that, you know, we're happy to watch. Um, they're not... Um, what can I say? Prejudiced in any way. And uh, it makes me feel good that they're able to watch something they enjoy for nothing. And, and we are fabricating cars for the people that enjoy to watch something be made. And to be honest with you, that's what I like to do. I like to make things. And that's what we have made the YouTube station around is making something. And that's what I always say. If you, if you, you, know, if you want to make something and go in the garage and make something, it's so gratifying to make something and for one minute as you're working on it do not feel like you have to finish it you don't have to finish shit make yourself happy go out and make something and work on something you can work on it for 25 years if you want to as long as it makes you happy doing what you're doing basically so this is what I want to do I want to fabricate and build cars whether I finish them by putting all the brake lines on them or getting the motors running or whatever I am not ripping anybody off. I am not selling anything. I am not doing anything bad. I'm basically running a YouTube station with Jolene. She is the she knows when to change things up and carry on. So I just follow her lead. And uh, when she says it's you know if you want to do this, go for it. So basically, that's what I'm doing. So right now, I'm going to take this van and we're going to modify it to make it look something like this and when i say something like this i mean that this is inspiring me to make something that looks like this i'm not going to make it exactly and the reason being is i don't want that exact truck i want to be able to use my imagination and make what i want to make 
but I want to use that to inspire me. It's sort of like what we do here at the YouTube station. There was a guy said this morning that I inspire him. Well, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome because basically you're looking towards somebody or something to make what you want to make. So whether you're doing a 55 Ford truck or you're doing a 23 Model T or if you're building an 87 Chev, lowering it, doing whatever you're doing, you do it the way you want to do it to make yourself happy. Also, there's no comments that are going to go on Facebook or YouTube that are going to change me from doing what I want to do. Your opinion is your opinion. <laughs> I can't do anything about your opinion. It basically tells you who you are, but it doesn't tell me who I am. Who I am is the person that wants to do this. That's who I am. I want to change this over to make this. So make sure that when you write in something silly, that you know that you're not affecting me. <laughs> you're just telling me who you are or everybody else who you are. Um, because what I want makes me happy and that's what I'm doing. And for the people, like there's a guy on the, on the Facebook that I've been scrolling through and I see his stuff. He, he showed a couple cars. He had a couple cars that he's very proud of, I can tell, because he posts about them. He put some really big, fat tires on the back. Cool. Awesome. But there was a lot of comments on there saying, oh, gross, I hate that. That's so ugly. Well, you know what? Them cars are none of anybody else's business. They're his cars, and if he wants to put fat tires on them, that's what he should do to make himself happy. And uh, for the people that are cutting him up, do not let that, them people cut you up because you want fat tires on your car. You do as you want to do. And that's the problem with some of the world today. We let other people guide us where, we need, where, we, where we're going. And I'm not going to allow that to happen. I, I'm going to do what I want to do. And that guy that wants to put fat tires on his car, you do what you want to do. And everybody that has the opinion, is that's their opinion. That's none of your business. So make sure that when you're working on your project, you do what you want to do and do not care about what everybody else says. That, that right there, um, to me, is enough motivation to carry on to do what you want to do to make yourself happy. So make sure that all the poopy comments, they're followers, yes, yeah, they're going to follow you. But make sure you do what you want to do to make yourself happy. Let's carry on. As we look at this thing here, um, you can see that this is the first thing that I see. The front tire is here, and it looks like to me the steering cabin is in front. So actually in this part right here, we got Timbo in the house today. He got his gloves on. He's going to give me a hand. He's even got a little Bud Light going. Yep. Um, it's, it's Friday. Um, we, got, um, we got the steering on, like we'll be steering from the back part of the wheel. On the picture, you'll see that the cabin of the steering part would be in front of the wheel, you know. Um, everybody's saying the wheelbase is wrong. The wheelbase is wrong. No. The wheelbase is the wheelbase. Where you're steering from is different, yes. But that's not gonna that can't that's not gonna stop me from doing what I want to do. Um, because I could take the steering and move it forward if I want to and get in front of the front of the wheel. That's not an issue. I have to lengthen the frame, uh, change where the steering box is, and connect it back to the steering. Um, but the Basically, this, this is a mini Winnie, so it was a motorhome at one time. The underneath of the chassis, the chassis is a uh, unibody. It's hard to believe, I know. This is unibody because the chassis is welded to this floor. Everything is welded. The chassis is welded to the floor, and they call that a unibody. Up front, it's separated a little bit, but it's still, if you come up front here in the inner fender, it's still welded to the chassis, so everything is welded down. Um, and the reason I like this because it's got the dual wheels in the back. It hasn't got stacks, so you can't call it a big rig, but it's got dual wheels in the back. But this thing here, um, it, it inspires me to make something like that because I have this and I have it for free and I like making things and I am not going to let anybody slow me down. Um, so what's going to happen now? I got looking at it, got it inside, um, got it inside. And what I'm thinking is, is I don't, I don't want any of this. And the reason being is, I am not going to build something that's right high in the air. I'm not going to do it. I'm basically thinking that I'm going to be sitting on the floor and looking out the window. So when I'm sitting on the floor, when I'm sitting on the floor, I would never be able to see out the dash. <laughs> 
you know, the dash has got to go because I do not want something high in the air. I'm looking for something about yay tall. Um, yeah, just above the steering wheel probably. So it's going to be quite low to the ground. I'm going to build it so it comes over, over above my head. So basically, I'm going to get rid of all the dash, all the front inner fenders. I'm just going to cut that all free and um, start making it fresh. I'm going to make what I want to make. Also, when you watch our YouTube station, it's about making something from nothing. So the young people that watch, if you've ever seen a junk car, use your imagination to think about what you could make out of it. Like, basically, that's what I'm doing. I'm taking a piece of junk that you could get in any scrapyard and probably get for me or nothing. You may pay a couple hundred dollars for the scrap for this thing and make something. And it doesn't matter if you finish it or if you do not finish it. Like, basically, is what I'm trying to say. So anybody out there, like, let's face it, this is the YouTube station to watch. We are live, real, and inspiring to uh, make things. So I'm going to tear the dash out of this thing, cut the front end off this thing, and then it's going to give me a better picture to, to start with. You know, like, I mean, um, I want all this. I've got to repair some of this and take some of this off. Um, got to fix this, but I, I want a, a platform where I can start, and then we can start making some pieces uh, to start going on this bad boy. Um, so, as I say that I'm using that as in, to be inspired, I might put the steering behind here. I might leave the steering right where it's at and steer from there, but I also might extend the front frame and make the steering go on the front. I already have a car like that. It's called the Green Goblin, and you never guess. It's finished. <laughs> and it's from a piece of junk. But anyways, <laughs> um, I'm going to start cutting some of this off. I'm going to get Tim to help me a little bit. Um, he's got a brand new pair of gloves on. And uh, I'm going to get you to take all the screws of the dash, Tim, if you will. Please and thanks, buddy. Oh, buddy. Tim was just full of piss and blue vinegar before we started. He was telling me all kinds of stuff. We were just a laugh, and now he's all quiet. But he, here we go. I'm, I'm heavily edited. <laughs> He's heavily edited. Censorship. I hate it. Censorship. Tim hit a deer this, this didn't you? Yeah, yeah, hit a deer on the way home. Tim drives truck for a living, and um, he's home, so they drop over and buy us a coffee once, or every time they stop home, you usually yeah, stop in and buy us a coffee. Check out, check out live or what, uh, what we're doing. What happens every 10 days. That's my, <laughs> that's my... Thing. I think them screws go right around the front, Tim, all the way on the top of the dash. If you want to take them all the way all the way along there, I want to pull that dash out if I can. I'm probably going to leave, leave the steering wheel for now. And the reason being is because I'll probably take run this out and sandblast it to get it nice and clean. Get it nice and clean. But I'm going to get a reciprocator shawl and just start junking it up. I see I've got rot. I got rot there by the gas pedal. I've got rot over here. It's not doesn't look that great. But what I think I'm going to do, I've got a cross member right here that was cut out when we took the engine out. Like I said before, the engine was cut out of this bad boy for um, the wine car. The engine was taken out, but we're going to, I'm going to end up putting that cross member back in, no doubt in my mind. I also have been thinking, I also have been thinking, I've already got the green goblin with the engine in the back. I'm almost thinking I, I could put the engine back here. Uh, and hook it right to the right to the rear end. I could do that. I'm, I'm just not sure yet, but what I am sure of is I'm going to get rid of all this front. So we're going to make some noise, have some fun, and uh, go for it. And 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 our YouTube station may be I'm not positive may be the only daily live YouTube station that you know of. Yeah. And you're not mistake free. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not mistake free. So that means we don't edit. What do you want, Tim? I want some air. We <laughs> want some air. All right, so I'm gonna just start cutting some stuff off. I'm gonna start cutting some stuff off. I guess I'm just, what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm just gonna start junking it up, pulling it out and see where it gets me. Might get me in a lot of trouble, I don't know. But I got, I got a spot right here I can cut across and get some stuff out of it. I'm just gonna junk her up, man. Oh. Just making sure I'm not cutting anything I don't want to cut.
it's good to look full time. It's hard to believe how fast you could wreck a car to cut a car up and, and make it into nothing. Make it into nothing. It's really hard to believe, but... Just making sure I'm cutting all the right stuff. way here if I junk it up in small pieces I'll be able to get it out of the door I'm gonna put on a pair of gloves like Tim bone has probably just trim it right back to the rot so we'll probably trim it right back here there's a stock member right there we'll probably trim it right back here get rid of that and then we can go all new all fresh all new stuff All new stuff. And, like I said, it probably, no, not probably, it will not be exactly the same. I'm not looking for the exact same. But I will take points off of what's going on um, to build sort of the same thing. Like I was saying, Jolene, this morning, where, where it comes around, on the back, I might want ours flat. I'm not sure. Don't know. But I'm thinking I don't want to build the exact same thing. Um, the reason being is they've already done it. Why would I want to do it? I'm just be inspired from what they're doing uh, to get to build what we want to build. I have a piece up here. You can see up on the front of this the bad boy. I'm going to push this bad boy back. You stay with us, and I'll give you some good news in the end. Tim Bowie, help me push this truck back, will you please? Push on the push on that wheel, will you? And help me push it back a little bit. Oh, you got it, would you? Yep. All right, that's good. Thank you. Sanko. So you can see where it's welded up here front and the, and the fender's welded on it. It's welded to the frame, unibody. I don't know if the dash has to come out of that bad boy. I don't think it does, Timbo. We could probably take it all off. I'll just cut the other side of that. Don't worry about it, Tim. <laughs> all right. Don't worry about it. I'm just gonna stay with me though. I'm just gonna cut it all off and we'll flop her all. Eh. The steering's gonna have to be dealt with. Get this out. And also, having a project in the garage all the time, working on something, uh, it's good for, you know, camaraderie, for people stopping in, hanging out, having fun, making things. Like, I mean, I can remember doing that as a young person full time, hanging out in the shop with people, and that's what got me into it. In that blade.
timber. What I can get you to do though, Timbo. Yeah. See if you can get that steering unhooked. Right. The steering, they've got uh, two bolts here in the dash. If I, yeah, the steering's gonna stay. So if I can get the steering unhooked, that would be awesome. Or I can just cut it. Probably best just cut, huh? cutting everything else. <laughs> what, you, you want that shaft taken apart there? Is that what you're saying off the box? That probably just as easy. Yeah. Two bolts right there. Yeah. Pop steer, take steering, that'd probably be the best. You, if the toolbox is over there, if you want to, actually, yep. toolbox, if you want to find a couple tools, we'll take that off. Yep. And then we'll just pop steering off. We're getting to the point where she's almost. All right now, would you? Steering's about the only thing, I think. We'll see. There's gonna be brake lines and all that stuff hooked up, no doubt in my mind. Gonna need one on both sides, no doubt in my mind. Yeah. Uh, hold right here. Want me to hold the steering wheel? Yeah, there you go. I'll keep that steering wheel, put that in my collection, Sean. So the Thunderbird will be it needs obviously it needs the, the it needs a wiring harness, it needs the brake lines, it needs the, the brake the drive shaft put in it. Uh, it needs a shifter put on it. Uh, it needs interior put back in it. And then that's when after that stuff is done and then we could finish it with the paint and that sort of stuff. Um, for, our, for our YouTube station, um, our views go when, when that start, starts happening. So basically, uh, we kind of just move on obviously. And that's what we're doing now. But um, we have uh, some help with the mechanical side now. And uh, it's going pretty good is what I can say. Um, we're doing a little bit at nighttime, helping me out on his spare time. Uh, Nathan is his name. He's doing an awesome job. I'm learning some stuff from him. Uh, yeah, I'm learning some stuff from him. I'll take you out and show you after we cut the front end of this off. Get this released and I'll show you. And not saying that we're not going to finish anything, but that's I don't have to. Like I, I really don't have to, basically, uh, because um, we do well doing what we do. And I'll tell you something. It's like when we go over and watch the old the old basketball game, eh, Tim? Yeah. If, if someone's if someone's hot and and shooting from everywhere and scoring, you would never take that person off the court, <laughs> would you? Uh, I, a lot of coaches would, but I wouldn't. <laughs> exactly. So basically, um, when you know Jolene is, people probably should take notes from Jolene, <laughs> and the reason being is. Um, she monitors and does the YouTube page and the Facebook page. She does that all by herself. And she maximizes everything. And, and the reason I can say she does that is because you just have to look out back and you see the size of the building that's out there. Um, she knows when it's going up and when it's going down. And uh, she's not the kind of coach that would take off the best player when they're hot. Um, she plays it out to the full extent. So what I'm saying is, if you're doing good at something, w why change? Like, why why change? Don't don't change. Um, continue on. When you're uh, when things are not going so good, then, then you make a different play. Then you, you know what I mean. If that guy's not shooting good anymore. Then you can change him. But basically, is what I'm trying to say. Um, we think Timbo. Let's try to pick this bad boy up. Ready? It's quite heavy. Oh, yes. 
Ah. Oh, oh, yeah, she's... Huh? What well, we got? Yeah, something. So we got we, we to wait on my We side. got brake lines and all that. We got oh, oh we, got, we got emergency brake cable. That's that's that, still that stuck. That's still stuck. No. I'm gonna cut that off. No. Well, I tell you what. I want to keep it. What? <laughs> you put both of us lift. Yeah, but we still got the emergency brake cable. It's hooked on the dash here. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, that's not. It's hooked up. We still got probably a few brake lines hooked up. So we'll probably snip those. I want to take the bolt out of that if we can. Nah. Um, brake lines. All these brake lines are going to be cut. Cut all them brake lines. Watch yourself, Timbo. Cut these. Excellent. Copper lines if you're worried. They're copper lines if you're worried. They're not, they don't pass inspection no more. I like the looks of copper lines, but they don't pass inspection no more. Not that they're going to anyways. I'm gonna get a zip cut, start cutting some more stuff. Yeah. I might, well, can you get the bolt to get that off or I don't, can we unhook it? I don't, or? I, I, I don't know yet. I don't, I don't know yet, know. he says. Too, but I can and I'm probably going to do what cut it cut, well, cut what your brake line uh, I can cut the brake line though that's no problem I'm just trying to cut all the stuff that's holding us on here oh. the steering's off the only thing really holding that I see Tim is the is the emergency brake yeah that, well that's that's, uh, and that, that's why and I that's, got my little light here and see. that still works yeah yeah so you don't want to cut that off well, not I really, we're but... Gonna, just gonna I will. <laughs> I will. I know you will. I know you will. Just clean her up. Just clean her up. Timbo, yeah. I'm going to cut through the dash there for a second. Yeah. Bear with me, okay? Yeah. Watch yourself, okay? Yipper. Yipper, yipper. Just trying to get the emergency brake cable out of it. Should look and see where I'm cutting first. Yeah. Trying to cut the handle off. All I have to do is unbolt that. That's what I was working on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but I'm just going to cut you a hole so when it, we get her, she comes right out. 
what I'm working on. <laughs> Ten minutes what I was working on. <laughs> When we were going through, um, oh, that's patents, that sort of stuff. When we were going through New Jersey, was it was it New Jersey? No, it wasn't New Jersey. Uh, when we were doing the the trip across, Tim did know what happened there. No. Where's it at, Tim? Rochester. 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 Yeah, Tim did know what happened, didn't he? Yeah, uh, he he told us. A lot of, lot of, lot of fat old factory towns suffered the same fate. Too many recessions, too many offshore factory removals, and a lot of down south uh, right to work states sucked it all away. And technology, right? A lot of the major manufacturers, you know. Something to to uh, know about Tim, he's a he's a man of a lot of knowledge. He seems to know a lot. Not saying that he's Anything other than that, he knows a lot of shit. <laughs> Tim, I don't know if you're, everything he reads, he keeps in his head or not, but it seems that way. Uh, most of the useless stuff. Useless stuff? Yeah. All right, All right it's not coming out. Uh, like you were saying earlier today. Huh. You're, you're going on your speech, man. All I was thinking about is that I think it was an old mama and papa song. Do what you want to do and go where you want to go. That's all that was going through my head. <laughs> a mama and a papa song. I think that's who it was. Yeah. Well, basically, I mean, let's face it. That's Some people get it and some people don't. I understand that. Go where you want to go. Yeah. And if you want to see something finished for all the people say that all the... Just keep keep watching, and and one day something will get finished. One day, yeah, I promise. No, I never make promises. Sorry, I never make promises. If you don't like it, there's always an off switch. <laughs> Tim has a lot of answers. Yeah. <laughs> <There's>... <laughs> I'll, I'll just wait a minute here. There's a lot of off switches. <laughs> Trying to disconnect everything, that's all. So when she pops off, probably could take the headlights out of it and use the headlights. Probably. The, do the doors come off this thing yesterday. And uh, they're, they're in really good shape, the doors are. I'm thinking that there's somebody with a van that probably would love to have those doors. But, how'd you make out, Timbo? Well, I'm not good at working in the dark. Oh, you got one more. Yeah, somewhere up in there, there's something. Oh, there's one more there. Yeah, somewhere. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. All right. I might as well cut this off. I may as well cut this off. This is all rotten here. So I'm just going to come along here and cut that off, I guess. I want that out. teeth.
the tweezers. Um, ah. They might get in there, okay? <laughs> Use the zip cut for now. I know it makes a lot of noise, but there's not much more noise than that. Yeah. It'll look a lot different once we get the front end cut off it, but there has to be a point of demolition before we go forward. So <laughs> that's what's happening. Oh yeah, got a new hat today. If you like the hat, you can buy one at Hilts Auto Co. Yes, you can. HiltsAutoCo.com. Yeah, go buy yourself a hat today. Treat yourself. I want that thing. And where's the tweezers at? And I also need to have a nervous, well, not a nervous pay, but I need to use a pay, so I'll be back. Watch Tim struggle. Is it a true life struggle, Tim? No. It's, just... it's a beautiful day out. Wow. Oh, there's more than just a couple, I take it. Yeah, and it's up and off to the side, and it's just, uh, it wants to be... Being difficult? I can cut it off if you want to make it easy. <laughs> no. It's just that, you know, I think the emergency brake cable works on this bad boy, so I'd hate to cut it off when I can just bolt it onto something else. I did. I got the tweezers. I'm going to try to pull this in. Well, no. Come on. Grr. I just think. True life struggle, people. True life struggle. You're asking probably why I got a pair of tweezers in the shop. It's probably because I get a lot of metal in my hands. It's just nice to have a pair of tweezers around. That's aggravating. That's aggravating. True life struggle though. How'd you make out Timbo? Well, you're in the same boat I am? No. Uh, no, I just need. I don't know where all your tools are. Just keep searching the toolbox, you'll find one. Yeah. Alright. 
took my gloves off, didn't I? Now I want that reciprocator saw, and I haven't got it. Stay with us, we'll get this front off. Stay with us, we'll get it off somehow. If we have to hook the Suburban to it and pull it off, we're gonna get it off. Yeah, maybe. Hook a strap around it, go on, take it out. What's that? Yeah, that thing. Thing worth work. Don't work worth a shit, to be honest with you. Um, really haven't got anything to get it. It's not sure. Just being an SOB. That's just a little offset. And working on the blind. That's right there. And come on. Being an SOB. <laughs> oh, I just lube that up something now and can't get a hold of it. There's a little key chuck in there that's grabbing that. It goes through a hole. And it's not letting it come out. No. I gotta get away from that for a second. How are you making it, Tim Bone? Oh, it's just a matter of... Uh... Should I just cut it? Or are you almost there? Well, <laughs> listen, man, do I get a grip on it? You gotta come out, but it's offset, so. And it's up inside. And it's it's on there. Still good, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's the best. That's this here thing here. Probably the solidest part left in the front end. Ouch. Well, it's gonna come off. Let's. let's it's only going to last so long, and then I'm going to cut it off. Oh, yeah? Yep. Well. I still got the handle, so I can just, um, you know what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, I do. Uh, you, you plan on reinstalling this dash? I'm not using any of the dash. I want to take the whole front of it off, to be honest with you. And if the reciprocator saw was working, I'd cut that piece out, but I can't get it. You see up in there. So that bracket is way up under the dash, and it's offset, right? And I'm trying to get... Straight line on that. Use that swivel. Oh, you're. It's right there. Yeah. But here, can you put this? Let me see that for a second. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> and it's right there. And it ain't right there. Here, put this on it. Let me see yeah. it. Let me see your ratchet or your socket. Boom, boom, boom. See if I can get it. See, I got, I got the universal. Yeah. To Let me see if I can get it with this. So what are you doing? No, just a second. I see it. I see it. With the straight line on it because it's offset in there. How the fucking. Maybe up underneath. You know? And the dash is sort of in the way. We still got to get it out of there. There we go. Now, just got to get it out of that piece of metal on the on the dash. I see you got the gloves off. Uh, well, I had to have that feel up underneath there to figure out where that bolt went up around. Now. Now that reciprocator saw is what I need, but...
All right, here we go. We got her cooking the gas now. <laughs> hey! Oh, the grommet out. Yeah. Now all you gotta do is cut that twice, Chad. Move through. Okay. Yeah. So. How that works. Yeah. Damn, all that for an embridge brake cable. Yeah, we had it up in there pretty good. But it worked and we got it, so we we got it. Now, are we gonna be able to plot that front end off? What do you think? I don't know. I don't know if this, Steering. If this is stuck on something else or not. Heavy, isn't it? Yeah, but I was just wondering if you're stuck on something right there. No, just a minute now. Just a minute now. On something. We've got steering column that's still, bolt still in there. Oh, so we got to take it down, move it forward, bring, bring that free. No, I'm just going to take a hammer and knock it out. Knock it out. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. Still safe. There. See if we can get that above that. No, it's just is right that here. still attached? No, no, no. That's right here. No, it's just right there. Look. Yeah, yeah. This you is pick up. Call. You pack up your back part, and I'll pick up the front part. Now watch. No, second. Hey, there you go. Ha ha. Now that's hitting the tire. So obviously, she'll roll right off now. Just a second. I don't want to ruin that steering wheel. I want no. That steering wheel. No. You got your, got your gloves on. I'm gonna open yeah. the doors, and we're gonna take this bad boy right out the front. Hang this stuff. There we go. Excuse me, sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing today. A little pair of Daisy Dukes on. Nice little top. Looks amazing. And. You got to give it up to her, boys. Um, she got one of the most successful automotive YouTube stations going. So it, it, you know, this is basically what I've I've been doing all my not all my life. To be, I started out. I first started out doing restorations and doing body work. And uh, restoration is what I lived off of. That's all I did was restoration. I've got two rotisseries over there underneath the trees where I would turn cars upside down. And that's what I, you know, grow up doing is taking away rust and fabricating it and putting it back where, you know, back to original. That's where I started it. When I met Gene Winfield in 2008, that's when I come in to learn this stuff. And now that it's 2023 or two, um, now I'm full tilt customizing. And um, people say, well, you never re restore anything. I've restored so many cars that um, it's hard to keep up. Um, if you go on the Bad Chad, or just my Facebook page, there's a thing there where it shows all the cars that I've restored. And uh, it's fun to restore car, antique cars, yes it is, but uh, this is what I like to do, so this is where I went. Um, you yeah, for any, this way? I am. How, how long does it take you to set that up? Put that in there and grab a chain and pick it up with that thing and we'll push it in. Sounds good to me, man. Sounds good to me. Not that I really care, but I do have only one back. Sounds good to me. Awesome. I'm glad you come up with that idea. Because I probably would have... That's where I go first is... That's where I go first is trying to lug and tear and all yeah, that sort of stuff. Well, you're only born with one back, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> That's where I go every time. Both 
done enough lugging in our lifetime. I know yesterday I missed the little tractor. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. As soon as we started pushing this thing in. Well, I was going to kill you anyway, so it's good that you got rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> Only one two people inside this building qualified to run it. Her name is Jolene. <laughs> I'm telling you, it was. I, yeah. yeah. Get rid of it before I get rid of your ideas. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> this brake system here on this, we will not chuck that away. And the reason being that brake system can be used anywhere. So it might be used back on this bad boy. But uh, that's a good system. We're not going to get rid of that. Will not get rid of that. Get this bad boy up. Yeah, we lift that up. And the reason I and I'm starting with this one, I think I said it already. It's got the the dual wheels in the back. And the steering's all the way to the front. So that's why I'm choosing uh, this to start with, uh, to make what you see. Um, obviously, you can see that we can bring the chassis forward. We could bring that forward, obviously, and still connect on to the Pittman arm there. I don't think it matters how fast I go. <laughs> it's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. I'm hoping all the all the wildfires are going out. Are they not? Yeah. Uh, we we, I, we picked that smoke up from Nova Scotia, Canada, and took it all the way to New York, in Virginia, all the way up the East Coast to New York, man. And it was still there. We got into Connecticut. It nasty stuff. That's the only way they know we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn Canadian smoke coming down trying to kill us all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not on purpose. No. Believe that's me. That's the way the winds blow that stuff up and over and down, right? Crazy. Believe me, if it was up to us, it, it would not have ended any smoke down there. And that, that's, that, that sun coming up in the morning looked like a, an orange setting in the sky. It was so... I've seen that. Yeah. It was quite crazy. Quite crazy. So we, we apologize for the smoke, but it is what it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that, Timbone. Yeah. Man, you're right on the money this morning. You might have enough lift to get her up over the thing and push her right back. We'll take it outside anyways. Yeah. Drag it, pull it down, and drag her away. Get on there. Sometimes the quicker you try to do something, the slower it takes you. Then, yeah. Huh? All right. Let's see how much lift power we got. Oh, we get all kinds of lift, do we? All right. I'm with you. Or I'm thinking we do. Better hold on tight now. That's it. We kind of could have shortened her up a bit, but it'd be good enough. Oh, I feel it coming. Come on. <laughs> oh, I see. Okay. I didn't cut that one out on that. I can cut that one out, Tim. Oh, this is clear now. I just don't want to get my fingers caught in there. Oh, yeah, look at that. Coming up over the tire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Tim says. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Just Way second. easier on my poor old back. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right, we'll leave that yeah. right there for a minute. Yeah, then you can get Doug huh? to tear that right apart. Piece no. by piece by piece and inventory it. Piece by piece and inventory it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think so, but whatever. <laughs> All right, so this is what we got left. Uh, you can see how we're connected, how it's welded on the floor there. So that's basically what's going on. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cut the rest of this stuff off because it's, it's got rod in it. There's no sense 
keeping it. I'm just going back to this cross member, cleaning it off, and we'll, we'll start fresh there. We'll build our own front. And the reason being is we're going to build the truck anyway. So we're basically starting, like if somebody wanted to do the exact same thing I'm doing, you can start with the frame if you want to. Make all your own cross members and do your own thing and build your own truck, you can. But where I have this, it's got a good start uh, because of the suspension and all that sort of stuff. We have the, the brake system that's still on it. Uh, we have the steering that's still on it. We have the brake system on there that's still on it. So it's good. We've got big brakes on it. Wow. Alrighty, let's go over to the other building for a minute. I just want to show them something. It's a beautiful day here in Nova Scotia. So even people that want to start a YouTube station, uh, the best person I would look towards is Jolene. And the reason being is, is of the, you know, how much she's come ahead and forward. And the reason being is she knows what's going on. Um, she doesn't take the player off if they're scoring three pointers. She makes that sure that player stays there. And when the, when the player's not pointing out three pointers anymore, then she makes another move, which goes faster and forward and, and does it again. And she stays there until she makes um, the content that she needs to go forward. On the Bugatti, we have got the engine turning over. We will do a film on it when we try to start it, but we've got it turned over and we've got fire. Uh, what has happened is we have a distributor. This is a 1984. Um, we had a distributor in it. Um, I didn't know if I didn't know how to get fire to it because it's not a points distributor. It's an electronic distributor. So uh, Nathan, the guy working on it, went out and got a uh, I don't know what you call that. Uh, there's a resistor there, and it's Jolene was listening. Ignition module out of a distributor, out of a Chev uh, distributor. So this is out of a Chev distributor. If you, when you take your cap off um, in your electronic distributor, this was in there, like electronic module. Um, this was in there. He pulled that out. It was out of a junk car that was given to us over in the field took that out, he hooked the two wires from the distributor and it plugged right into it. It had a big and a small uh, fitting in it and uh, it fit right onto it. He wired it up and he's got it so it turns over. He did, he got it so it turns over, it was awesome. Um, we got our oil uh, return geared up and where it's gonna flow through instead of having the cooler. Um, didn't have a place for the cooler, didn't, didn't think we need the cooler on it they you know all kinds of cars have um, oil in the oil pan that do not have oil coolers on it so I think we're, we're fine um, so we actually use this to get it running from what I understand there was a box on the intake the this was a fuel injected engine we put carburetors on it and made adapters to fit the carburetors on so we had to do a lot of changing uh, there was a box on the intake the fuel injected intake, I must have thrown it away or disregarded it, didn't realize. But uh, it's exact, there's a box in there that plugs into that distributor. And what's in that box is exactly what's there. Electronic module out of a Chev electronic distributor. So that's what he has and now we have fire and it turns over. So when it comes time for us to start it, um, we will do a little video on it and we will show it. We're, we're, we want to run gas to it. We've got a three to five pound um, fuel, electric fuel pump. Uh, we've got that. We're gonna run some gas to it. We're gonna turn it over and we're gonna see if we can get it running. So yeah, it's really going forward. So um, it's going forward. All this sort of stuff, I, you know, it's hard to, I mean, Jolene could have made a video of Nathan running some wires, but it's pretty hard to just sit there and watch, you know, someone clip wires and, and do that work. I understand that. Um, and Jolene knows that too, obviously. But the engine is getting closer. That wheel's over. It's got fire. You know what happens after fire. You get some gas and she's going to go. Uh, we took off the belt, off the power steering pump. We have to find um, some fittings to, find, to go do the rack and pinion yet. But we're cooking with gas. 
it's going. All the brake lines are run, so it's really going good. Once the engine is running, and, and that I can click the button and get it running all the time, and then basically it's just on to paint and putting it together. Oh yeah, there's all them unfinished cars. <laughs> that was funny. But anyways, what? All right, everybody. Thanks a lot for coming back. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. And for those who don't know, our YouTube station is live, real, every day. We build cars. Um, it, it doesn't pay us to finish them um, because our views go down. It's a business that we're running here. And if you get it, and if you don't, does not matter. Jolene's the best at it. Thanks for your help, Tim. And not mistake-free. And it's not mistake-free. We make mistakes here. Yes, we do. It's not mistake-free. We don't edit things out. When I say things wrong, we just keep, keep the camera rolling. But anyways, thanks for coming back. Like, subscribe, come back tomorrow, and tell your friends that we are building, um, I don't know what that is, a 1930-some doodle bug? Whatever it is. We're building that truck, sort of that truck. So it's gonna be a good build. I'm not sure how long it's gonna take us, but we're gonna throw it together. We're gonna to make something out of it. And uh, see you tomorrow.